I'm not quite sure what this has to do with this tail. That this thing is a cockroach on toast. Alright. Ow! I have no idea that one into that. That's pretty cool. Now who's nasty? Not quite sure. Okay, never mind. That 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 worked. Wow. Um Rumpin <laughs> stop. Bam! That's what I call a serious amount of number three. Number three. Me vomit. Hmm. Interesting. Why do these villagers think this kid can help them with their stupid problem? They're stupid. Anyway, they don't look like they're starving. This isn't a famine. When they start eating each other, I'll call it famine. Make it good. Do it now. Skinny, 
don't want to do it in an LC. It's really going to cause more problems. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Thank you. Wee. I haven't found any more seeds. So I'm not quite sure if there are any. find the secret. Oh well. Now. What time is it? These lost souls could stand to be more evil. Make it. Let's move. The time here. South Carolina is evil. Now who's smelling? Tuesday. <laughs> um. Yeah. Don't come in. I did, and I kind of touched you. <laughs> come here, let me look up your skirt. Now I. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. 
I'm not quite sure what this even has to do with the story. I, I basically turned everybody into ghosties for what reason exactly? With an assist from Granny Satan, who knew Satan had a grandmother? Lucky secures the requisite hairs. Hmm, Granny. Probably a looker in her day. <laughs> this hell is lukewarm. Let's heat things up. Make. Did you see, like, the devil's nipples? It was, like, weird.
Contrary, a turtle head. No! Grim! And I thought my thoughts were bad. Ah! Again, I'm being abused. But everybody seems to know who I am. I don't know if I should be concerned or not. Lucky returns home with the devil's hairs and four gold-bearing asses. Rejoicing all around! Uh. Make it! Makes me wonder what's wrong with them. Like, Help me! I'm stuck here! Oh god! Kingdom and I don't like it! Grim's smelly! Ow! Looks as sour as ever. Ah, greed. Let's make it intolerable. Make it.
king badly wants to find his pot of gold, and Lucky is happy to guide him. The king is a dolt to expect anything other than ill from the boy. Greed makes men blind, and it often kills them. So Lucky. Interesting. Next, last scene. Following Lucky's instructions, the king begs to take the ferryman's oars. Revenge! A dish usually necessary cold has its ways when it's hot, too. The king will be rowing for eternity. That's a long time. Let's make him miserable now! Make it foul! Oh, goody. I was hoping I would get away from platforming just once. <laughs>
didn't find the secret. Oh well. We'll ignore the fact that call bearers rarely saw day two of their lives. Calling them lucky was an attempt to ward off the sinister consequences the ignorant believed inevitably attended such a birth. King, how shall we treat this lucky child? Blasted nuisance. He's blessed. Give him to me. I'll bend him like... like... But the luck child ran aground before he drowned. Oi, what's all this thing? A bleeding baby? Barely enough for the giant's aperitif. But maybe if I grind his tiny bones, I'll get dinner. And instead of becoming bread, the luck child is adopted by the giant as if he were, like rain, a gift from God. Remind me why I haven't eaten you, boy. I'm lucky. I believe you are. Living in a man-eating giant's grist mill, it's remarkable that his luck held. But it did. Even when the king cajoled him to walk through the woods, carrying his own death warrant. Lady, I'm lost and about to drop. Oh, come in, dearie. I'm sure we can work something out. Ah, what wonders a pleasant way and soft hands can accomplish. The thieves turn the tables on the king and send Lucky on his way. He delivers the new message, is betrothed, and married to the princess the same day. But then the king returns, mightily frosted. Unless you want to wake one day on the business end of a noose, go to Satan and collect three of his short golden hairs. So off he goes. Turns out the road to hell is paved with much more than good intentions and some hard questions. <clears throat> Answer me this, you miserable cur. Where is water when you need it? How the bleeding hell should I know? But lamp oils are filthy habit, dangerous too. Try apple juice, mate. As he traveled on, the questions and the scenery didn't improve. Why have our fruit trees gone barren? Now we eat each other. So many questions, so few answers. Do I look like an encyclopedia? I can barely read. Change your diets, maybe. More veg. <laughs> Finally, he came to the watery entrance to hell. The river sticks. And another hard query. Why do I always have these stinking bloody ore in my hand? Don't be so selfish. Let somebody else row. A literal mind can be a curse. I might have collected golden ears from any blonde. How would the king know? <laughs> What mischief are you about, you little piece of gobshite? Get into my belly! Lucky returns home with the goods, but the homecoming is not happy. The resentful king is jealous, too. I must secure some of whatever you've brought. How? A fearsome ferryman will show you a productive vein, but only if you touch his awesome and disgusting ore. He's very fond of it, so distract him, then grab it and hold on tight. He'll tell you to go to hell. <laughs> oh, look, Ferryman, there's a three-headed dog licking its butt. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool! Now I am the Ferryman. I have the ore and will obtain my heart's desire. Yes, your worship. You're the bleeding ferryman, and will never be anything else. Enjoy, mate. <laughs>
He'll man that all forever. Or until he meets someone as stupid as himself. A suitable job for a murderous, covetous, and arrogant failure. Would that revenge was so easy to achieve, and its object so easy to dupe. I could be almost happy. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs> and that is episode 7 of American McGee's Grimm, The Devil and His Three Golden Hairs. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play of my Halloween special so far. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.